Welcome to Cisco TV. There was an amazing IoT innovation showcase. I really loved it. I think it's very interesting to see how we have converged IoT together with the intent-based networking. So we really can have now one segmentation policy, for example, for all your full network infrastructure, including your IoT infrastructure as well. Well, I'm here in the studio with Nish Parker, my co-host. How are you doing, Nish? I'm doing really well, thank you. I really love that keynote, and I love seeing Liz speak. I think that it's always really inspiring. Um, she's great at kind of showing all the innovation that we're up to, and like you said about the IoT and helping to move that to the edge, I think that's really great for our customers as well. Sounds good. Yes, I, I really believe that, you know, when I look at my customers, I really believe that this is what they're looking for. So they are really looking for one end-to-end -end infrastructure, be it their, you know, kind of automation of the office, or if it's their OT environment, they really want that one end-to-end -end infrastructure, end-to-end -end policy, end-to-end -end segmentation. And I think what we're doing in IoT space by converging that with internet-based networking is exactly that. Yeah, and I'm an applications girl, so I, I, as you know, I work in media, and I think there's so many use cases. Um, I love to hear, for example, in healthcare and manufacturing, um, how um, IoT and operations are really coming together and helping customers to really transform their businesses and have a huge impact to the heart of what they're doing. So IoT, I think, is one of the most exciting parts um, of, of the industry and one of the exciting things that are happening right now. Yeah, sounds good. And I do love Liz as well. I think Liz is really inspiring always. And now we've got Steve at IoT Booth. He's at World of Solutions and exploring all the latest exciting things that are happening in IoT space. So Steve, How's it going there at World of Solutions? It's going great, and this is one of those rare opportunities, Igorim, where we get to be in the middle of the Cisco showcase before the show floor actually opens, so it's still fairly quiet down here, and we've got room to walk around and look at everything that's going on around us. We don't get to do that very often. As soon as those doors open, this area behind me is going to be completely packed. Yeah, we've been talking IoT so much great content. We heard it from Liz. IoT is such a great story, and it's everywhere here at Cisco Live 2019 Barcelona. We have it in the Innovation Showcase, the DevNet Zone, uh, World of Solutions. You just saw right here in the heart of the Cisco Showcase. You can see right behind me, IoT is accelerating the digital world. We're building, we're scaling IoT. It's really become imperative for any company to get involved. Here at Cisco, we've got all these great learning paths, and these give you a lot of information about our great IoT portfolio. Everything from connectivity and security to management to application enablement, everything you need to deploy your IT, uh, uh, IoT solution from the edge across the cloud, across any industry, and when you come to the show, you get to interact with these great stories. In fact, Caroline, get on in here with me. This is Caroline, say hi to everybody. Hi. I said say hi everybody. Hi everybody. There we go, now we got it right. Okay, so talk us through what is different about how we're doing the storytelling here compared to the way that we used to do this type of storytelling, this kind of bringing it all together in this easy to read format. Absolutely, so first of all, welcome to the industry space. Um, what's really unique about what we're bringing to Cisco here is the second step of not necessarily understanding the technology, but then moving also into how it really translates to business outcomes. So in our industry space here, we have manufacturing, we yeah, have- we can swing this thing around here. You yeah, keep talking, Steve. Talking about utilities, oil and gas, transportation. I mean, it's a large list. You can walk around, we're in this space here. And we, we really showcase how the technology connects together. So bridging the gap from IT and OT and kind of just breaking those silos that we originally have had. Um, and then, as you can see on the walls, we also like to really point out some of the key uh, business outcomes there that's a translation of what that connection means. Tell me about what this is like for the people who come in to visit us here at the show. Uh, if you come to Cisco Live and you get an opportunity to interact with Caroline, the rest of the team here in the IoT zone, what are the questions they ask about this and what does this tell them about IoT that they might not have known if they didn't see these crystal clear pictures up on the wall? Yeah, that's a great question. So it's really interesting because each of our verticals have really unique business challenges. I have to say I've never had the same question once the oh, entire time that. I've been here. So they're all very specific um, to their particular you know, networking capabilities and also their OT side as well. Um, typically it's asking whether it's organizational questions, um, how from a cultural perspective how to integrate the technology as well as you know, specific protocols and security languages. 
Yeah. It's really cool. So what are the areas? We've got connected oil and gas. We're in intent-based industrial security around the side here we have. That's manufacturing. Manufacturing, and then back over here we have got connected utilities. What's going on on this side? Let's walk over this way. Do we have anybody else to chat with, or is it, uh, is it the two of us? What do you think? Talk to me about what's going on over here in this area. Do you want to talk about Kinetic for Cities? Going to have you go over Great. Well, let's go over down this way. Come on back. You know what? Maybe we'll just take a really quick span around. I think we've got to go back up to the studio. But uh, intent-based networking going all the way to the IoT edge, smart connected communities, connected roadways. This is why you want to get here to Cisco Live is so you can see all of this and ask these questions in person. IoT, like we said, is everywhere. Cisco is making it as easy as possible. If you are here and listening in on the broadcast, get down over here to IoT before the end of the day. All right. Back up to you guys. Thanks, Agarim. Thank you, Steve. That was extremely interesting. I have to say that I really love how this time at World of Solutions we are really showing the use case of the whole design, right? So the design of the infrastructure together with the IoT devices on it, on the wall. That looks extremely cool. Um, right, and we are back to the studio here. Yeah. Um, and we're going to talk about social media. I guess, I bet you've heard of hashtag C-L-E-U-R many times by now, but please follow us there, join our conversation, ask questions, make comments. We have a social media team that's actually actively monitoring all your tweets, all your comments, and retweeting things, answering your questions, commenting on your posts. Um, so Nish, why don't we maybe check out uh, some of the most yeah. interesting tweets that are out there? Definitely, so I'm just taking a look and what's really funny is I can see us in the, on Twitter because we're obviously streaming live as one of the platforms. <laughs> I love that. So <laughs> You're it's, like, it's, oh, it's what's the most interesting thing? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's us. <laughs> Great. Um, but there's been so much going on. I think it's one of the busiest days on Twitter with the hashtag CLEUR just because the energy and we're you know, full on in the swing of things. Um, lots of talk around the keynote which is happening later um, with Dr. Larry Brilliant as well. Um, and there's a lot around a theme of inspiration and people feeling inspired and taking things back. The energy is very high. Um, I love this one by um, John Christoph. 13,000 steps per day is his average at CLEUR this week. <laughs> uh, so he's saying how we're helping him to be healthy. So another reason you should come to Cisco Live um, Barcelona. We've got people preparing to be going to some of the sessions and the innovation theaters. Um, at Luke Ward, excited to be attending Cisco Live and he's looking forward to getting some insights on mobility and networking. So. So much going on. So, so I believe that we have Steve. So over to you, Steve. Hey there, Nish. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's a little pocket in there. I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Brenda's hanging out with me over here. This is the Heels on Wheels area. Dive in. We've got about a minute or so. Yeah. Kind of talk me through what's going on Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So this is very exciting. What we're showcasing here is what we're calling a Medibus, and it's a medical practice on wheels. And sometimes we actually bring the actual bus to the event. In this case, since we don't have the actual bus, we're showcasing a virtual reality experience. So you can virtually get Get on the bus, you can see how the technology works to enable this, and you can really see how it works together to treat patients. So it uses a combination of different technologies. So for example, IoT, mobility, security, all of these collaboration, which is a big one for telemedicine. Absolutely. Yes. So using all these different technologies, again, to create that medical practice on wheels. And right now it's being used in Germany. And what we're seeing is that the German doctors have been moving more into the bigger cities. So this enables them really to treat the those patients in the rural areas. So it's really making an impact in the communities and really making a difference. So it's very cool. Isn't this amazing how much healthcare has really helped to drive the market? We've been talking about this all week that so many of the technologies and capabilities that we're producing here at Cisco and tying into our bigger ecosystem really have come out of the need in the healthcare sector because Absolutely. it's personal, it's human in a way that so many areas aren't. Absolutely. And what's also really cool about this is if you have someone, say for example, from education coming over, we can talk about this in the context of a connected school bus or even a connected city bus. And there are also different applications. How does the bus talk to the road? So there are different ways that you can really look at this, but it's really all about that human impact and making a difference to the people and the communities. Tell me about the conversations that you've been having, not only here in this area, but back over here as well. We'll do it in about 20 seconds or so-ish. Sounds good. So we're having some really great conversations, especially about how can they actually deploy this in their countries. So we're people seeing people from Africa.
Africa. We're seeing people from Portugal, all these different areas, and they want to be able to do this. They want to be able to reach their rural communities with that health care and make a difference. So it's been we've been having some really, really amazing conversations, and it's not just about the technology, but about those outcomes. So it's very exciting. Brenda, thank you so much. Yeah. This is really cool. Come on by, hop on the bus, and do your thing.